This is a SIM tube. It's S-I-M. It stands for sulfide, indole, and motility. For this particular test, what we were looking for was more just the sulf hydrogen sulfide production as well as the motility. This is an uninoculated tube. I have three different examples to show you. So remember, this is the uninoculated. This is inoculated. Um, as you can see, I used a loop to inoculate. The growth is just along where the loop went, but you can definitely see growth in there. And this is Staphylococcus aureus. See how the growth is. This new tube is Enterobacter orogenes. Now, it may be a little difficult to see, but hopefully you can tell that the growth is throughout the entire tube, especially if I move this uninoculated on the end. And notice the difference in the coloration, that the, the bacteria has grown throughout the entire medium. And as compared to Staphylococcus aureus, which just stayed along the stab line, this was able to move throughout the entire uh, media. That means it is mobile. It is able to, uh, to move. Staphylococcus aureus would be considered negative for motility. Now, one of the main things that we are looking for with this test is the production of hydrogen sulfide. I'm going to move back over to the white paper so you can see this well. This is Proteus vulgaris. And notice a little difference in the color. The black indicates uh, hydrogen sulfide production, definitely a positive. So that is a, the SIM, S-I-M. The S stands for sulfide production, the hydrogen sulfide production. PV, this tube, would definitely be a positive for that, whereas the Enterobacter orogenes and Staphylococcus aureus are obviously negative because there is no black coloration to it. We will look at the indole production later.